Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I get down to my maintenance routine, everything I do from hair, lashes, brows, nails, and all of those nice cute things. Stay tuned if this is your vibe. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. First thing I had planned on doing was my hair. I had sewn in my hair for over a month and there were parts of my hair in the front that had glue for that long. So I washed my hair with regular shampoo first then I treated it with hot oil before washing it out with shampoo and going back in with conditioner. The oil really helps get rid of the excess glue and I'm so glad that I did that. I let my hair sit in a towel instead of hair drying it immediately because I was hopeful that the towel and the air is going to get it dry. While my hair was in the towel, I decided that I'm going to start with my lashes. I had a strip of lashes which I cut into pieces that would fit along my eye. I used this glue from Discam which I bought with the glue but they were not in the same pack. The last time I had cluster lashes professionally done, I was left balding in the eye. And while I love the look of professionally done lashes, I don't like being left looking like this. I apply the glue on top of the lash band because I will be applying the lash under my natural lashes. I press in the lash with the tip of my tweezer. This is something I'm already comfortable with, but I really do suggest using your fingers and nails if you're a first timer because this can be a little daunting. I do the same thing on the other eye to get the fullness that I want. If I really wanted to go for a fuller look, I would have gone with more lashes. This is how the lashes looked when I was done with them. Next up was a brow tinting. I like this quick brow method because drawing a brow frequently is probably for the pros and if you have slightly lesser hair on your face, this will give the illusion of a brow lamination. I usually leave the dye on for over 30 minutes but I make sure to wipe the untidy parts before setting happens. I did go a little overboard with applying here, I was not quite precise. But that was not a problem because I quickly went in with a brush with concealer to remove the parts that were untidy. I tried wiping off the entire lash with the earbuds because I thought I would get a fuller look. But I definitely went back with a full cotton ball to remove the whole thing. The last thing I did for the eyes was apply a ton of Vaseline around the eyebrow and tweeze it to get the shape that I wanted. The Vaseline helps to make the pain sting a little less. This is the final outcome of the whole eye shebang, the final look. I left my hair in a towel for as long as I could because I thought that would help it dry but my scroll was in a bad place so I ended up using heat to stretch it out to get the hair into a pony that I wanted. I patted the hair in a way that allowed me to get a sewing bang yang and tied the rest of the hair up into a high pony and added my usual extensions. This is the heat protector I had to go back in with because I did have to go back with straightener for the top of my hair. The funniest thing about this hairstyle is that I had so much confidence in it turning out perfectly 
but I'm not a professional hairstylist and I wanted it to look a certain way I had to go back with my scissors a few times and each time I liked the outcome less it was very funny by the time I was done anyway I did not give up this is what I ended up settling with and I think she was um I think she was kind of cute with her little bang her little bang yang Doing my nails last makes so much sense to me because then I don't have to worry about constantly touching water while the nails are still new. The rest of this process is actually self-explanatory. Everything that I do, everything that I use is going to be showed on the screen and I'm just going to be roll the rest of it. At the very end of the week, I decided I was going to treat my feet to a foot mask. I had already painted my toes using gel, so instead of doing the foot base and pedicure this time, I decided to do a foot mask to end my beauty maintenance routine. I kept this foot mask on for about 20 minutes and the moisture benefits which my feet got after that were so 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 divine i did not get an after video for that but take my word for it you should get this foot mask it is a sweet sweet treat this is the very last thing i did on this routine and i hope you enjoyed the video